Hey guys, welcome to the bonus reading for Leo. I want to let you guys all know I appreciate you so much. Sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading, so this will not resonate with all of you. Please do not try to make this reading fit your situation. But this could resonate with you if you have placements in your birth chart in Leo or you're dealing with somebody that does have Leo birth chart placements. Please take a moment to read through the description box before watching this reading. I would appreciate it. Need a stretch. Whew. Been sitting here doing readings for quite some time. So, all right. Leo, what do my Leo tribe members, subscribers, viewers need to know at this time, Spirit? <laughs> Guys, when I tell you that the Eight of Cups has come out for every reading today, like, it's crazy. People are walking away from things that do not serve them anymore. Things that are emotionally draining, situations that aren't meant for them, they are walking away. And it could be because it's like the, the end of the year, you know, it's about to be the new year. I don't know, but people are walking away from things. Things that are, that are not emotionally fulfilling. So, energies that I'm seeing here, I see Cancer energy, I see Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I see more Cancer energy here with the Chariot, um, Aquarius energy, somebody is walking away from something here somebody's been healing okay somebody has maybe been focused on their money their stability their children yeah nurturing children their main priority has been healing manifesting i see that somebody is walking away from something though maybe that somebody has healed to some degree they're walking away from something and I see that somebody's coming in with a stable offer here. It's like they're they're closing out a cycle, they're releasing a burden, they're putting it into something, and they're moving on from it. They may also be moving away from something, like putting it into a cycle and moving away. I also see that possibility. But something has come to an end, and now somebody is like moving in a direction, in a certain direction. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm getting over something. Oh. I'm mostly better, but I just got like a little bit of a tickle in my throat. <laughs> All right, back to it. Somebody. Hmm. Well, somebody is holding back like a lot right now. Somebody is holding back. Somebody could have walked away from a situation to be able to manifest something else, like some money or something else in their life to improve their finances. Somebody, there's a lot of, we have the temperance in reverse, the fool in reverse, the page of wands in reverse, the ace of wands in reverse. And we have the four of pentacles. And the two of cups in reverse. Ace of pentacles. Everything's in reverse. All right. 
So this has major blockages. There's been major blockages in this situation. Hmm. I feel like there was like, this was kind of like, it seemed like very impossible. This situation, whatever this person was been wanting to come towards you and maybe offer something. But it seemed like this was kind of impossible for you guys to be able to come to a compromise or to make this work. Like somebody felt like this was kind of like, like you guys were star-crossed lovers or this wasn't going to work out. Like there was a lot of blockages. They just thought this was not going to be, get, somebody felt like this wasn't going to get off the ground. So they were holding back. But something is changing here. We have the justice card in, in upright. S justice is about to be served and balance is about to be restored in a situation. Could be dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo energy here. We have Gemini energy. Um, Sagittarius energy. But somebody is gaining some type of clarity while they are in like, they're taking some time to rest, recuperate. Maybe somebody just has not been open to having a reconciliation, a relationship because they maybe felt like they needed to take some time to heal. They feel like maybe this is just like, cause yeah, somebody was in like a low vibration. Somebody felt like maybe they were trying, they're, they're, maybe they needed to recover money. They, they needed to improve their financial situation or their, their value, their self value, their worth. They were maybe dealing with low self esteem or low, just feeling bad about themselves. Yeah. With the nine of wands, somebody was feeling depleted, exhausted, fed up with every, the way that things have been going. Somebody may have been fed up that somebody wasn't coming in with an offer or an ex expressing their true feelings. I do see that as well. Somebody was feeling very pessimistic. I don't know. Somebody is coming in after being in a hermit mode possibly to express some. This is like, whew, this, is, this situation has a lot of blockages in it. So let's get into the... Um, I feel like somebody is just very closed off. Somebody is just very not, they're not open. Well, they haven't been. Somebody needs a, is in need of a lot of healing. All right. local travel yeah i feel like maybe somebody just needs to get out more they they're like a hermit they don't like getting out of the house they like just spending time alone but what does this have to do with anything trial and error what does this have to do with local travel yeah somebody needs to be like somebody is very okay so <laughs> What I'm seeing here, guys, is somebody is just very resistant. This is a very stubborn person. This it has nothing to do with the, them not having the desire to come towards you. They're just super stubborn. They're stuck in their ways. They need, they, it's like they, they're afraid of exploring the possibilities or stepping into the unknown. They're afraid of trying new things, but it may be they would need to travel to you. Somebody's afraid to travel or, uh, to come see you or to visit you or to get out more to get out of their comfort zone but with the trial and error here it does look like it says willingness to try new things it does look like they're getting in that energy where they're going to want they're going to they're getting out of that resistant energy they're they're getting to the point where they want to they are going to be willing to try something new here to do something that they don't normally do this, this is a person stuck in their ways, very stubborn, resistant to change. Um, but they want a second chance here. They want to try to restore this connection. I feel like the what the let me see. Woman, deep thinking. So the feminine in this connection has been doing a lot. We have the Queen of Pentacles here in the star. 
you guys have been healing. You guys have, this situation maybe took a really heavy toll on you. It could have been a very devastating situation that you went through with this person. And you guys maybe had to pick up the pieces. You guys had to heal yourselves. You know what I mean? You guys had to give yourselves closure or something along the lines of that. I see you guys have been doing a lot of self-reflection. You guys have been up in your heads a lot, doing a lot of thinking. It's like, I told you, somebody is like in this energy where they're like, I don't know. Like now that you guys have healed, to some, like you guys have reached a certain milestone in your healing, you're like, I don't know if I even want this anymore with this person. Like I did want to be with them. But like, is this even what I really want? Is this ever going to get off the ground? There's so many obstacles and blockages. Could this ever work out? Could this ever come together? It's like you guys are like thinking about it in your head, overthinking it, being analytical, like thinking like, could this ever work out? You know what I mean? I feel like you guys have maybe been just trying to focus on your money and your career, manifesting some type of career or business success. But I do feel like you guys are going to be receiving some good news. It could be in regards to that money, career, business, or you're going to be receiving some type of communication that's going to be something that you guys have wanted. Yeah, it's like some of you guys were like not doing very well with this situation. Or maybe you're going to realize, you're going to hear that. Oh, poor hell. Somebody had some situation, people in their life, they were in certain situations that were very detriment, detrimental to their health, their mental health, their physical health. They were maybe somebody was stuck in some type of addictive um, situation, but somebody maybe has gotten out of that. Somebody has is, has been decluttering their life, cleaning up their lives, getting rid of negative situations. And it looks like this was some type of, type of divine intervention. And somebody is going to be communicating this to you. And it looks like Spirit is saying that um, somebody's trying to seize an opportunity here. This person could see you as like a golden, a rare gift, and they want to seize that. Or Spirit is trying to say that... There's something that's going to be, they're going to be gifting to you and they want you to seize that opportunity. But um, it could be in the form of a, tr a truth coming out. Like a truth is finally going to be revealed to you or. I'm learning. What's, what's that called? Hmm. So somebody had a karmic in their life, okay? I feel like somebody wants to rebuild a situation with you. They've learned some type of valuable lesson from a karmic situation. They've learned the karmic lesson. Um, there was some situation that like, I feel like they may have not really even been with a karmic, like been in a relationship with the karmic, but they were still maybe like boundaries that needed to be set. Like it wasn't completely closed out with that karmic. Things were up in the air. But with the higher power coming out, we had the wheel, the divine stepped in and closed that out. They, it's like spirit has been trying to protect this person or you from a karmic situation here. They, there was lessons that needed to be learned here. It was supposed to assist in somebody's personal growth. But I feel like a karmic cycle is coming to an end here. Somebody's cleansing them, their life of a karmic. Somebody is like, it says, careful who you trust, secrets. Somebody's moving in silence. Somebody's not telling this karmic something, which I mean, they probably don't need to. There's, yeah, there's some type of divine intervention here. This person has, was keeping you waiting because they waiting because they were stuck in some type of toxic situation, but they have freed themselves from that now. And I feel like it was with the assistance of the divine. Yeah, look at this, toxicity. They had to purge their life so that they could have happiness, so that they could have a happy outcome. Somebody could not see you. We have this socializing and going out more. So maybe this person could never see you. They could never meet up with you. They could never spend time with you because they were so involved in this toxic situation. But that something is different now. Somebody is going to want to be going out more, wanting to socialize more. They want to make things right with you. You guys are going to be getting what you deserve. Like You guys are going to be reaping some type of good karma. Or somebody is finally learning the karmic lesson, so now they're about to be rewarded. They're realizing that they can't change certain situations. They can only change themselves. Somebody's self-worth and image is improving as well. Somebody's trying to listen to their intuition, but they're a little bit cautious. 
Yeah, because I told you this person is very resistant to change. So they are a little bit cautious. They are a little bit afraid of being deceived or not seeing things accurately or clearly. Um, but they're being divinely guided. They're trying to listen to their intuition. They're being guided. They are be you guys are being, you guys can both be being divinely guided and protected. Pay attention to the repeating numbers and dreams. Somebody is realizing that a situation, like there's a certain obstacle or thing in their life that is never going to improve or get better. So they have to just change the direction that they're going in. Okay. It's time to do things differently because somebody that they're dealing with, it's like maybe they were trying to change a person hoping and wishing that somebody would change, but they're coming to the realization that that person is never going to change. That situation is never probably going to get better. So they just have to go in a different direction. All right. Yeah. So now they're closing out a cycle here and it's actually the best decision that they can make for themselves. Their health is going to be improving. Um, overall health is going to be improving. So what's this mean for my Leo's time off? Somebody's you guys are going to be Hmm. So there's about to be some type of healthy, happy surprise. Like you guys needed to take a break from this situation or this person to really focus on your own life, your own progress and growth to do what makes you happy. Take care of yourself first. Take a break from this. And you guys have been in like this transitional period in your life. All right. But, and I feel like maybe the spirit says there was some type, some toxicity you guys needed to do some shadow work. There were some addictions or codependencies, obsessions, maybe bad financial habits, some type of toxicity in your life that needed to be dealt with as well. And that's why you guys needed to take a break. You guys both had toxicity to deal with. Um, but it looks like there's about to be some type of divine timing is about to come into play here. Like something is about to change here. Like <clears throat> some type of divine intervention. What about this online somebody's been watching you online spirit says keep an open mind because i feel like you guys may just because this person did disappoint you in the past or you know they they put you in like they they did something to you you may feel like this person may be coming back around to try to they're a snake they have hidden intentions Spirit says try to keep an open mind. Somebody definitely has been watching you online. Yeah, secrets, moving in silence. Somebody's been doing something. So what's this mean for my Leos? Third party. Ooh, this third party could be. Tell me more about third party. Thorns. So maybe Spirit is just saying that. This person feels very drawn to you. They feel like things are left very, that there's still more to this connection between the two of you. Like things aren't over. There's still another chapter for you guys. Like they feel like there's still unfinished business between the two of you. And to be able to pursue this unfinished business, they had to make some type of hard choice in regards to a third party. Their third party could have also been um, watching you or like something, third party interference was a big issue here, but they've made some type of sacrifice to be able to, reach a goal that goal is to come back towards you because they feel so drawn and they have this magnetic connection with you to finish this to tie up loose ends to resolve things with you they feel things are very unresolved and you guys maybe have an inner knowing that this is what's going on you guys be very spiritual and your intuition could be trying to tell you what's going on here but look spirit is saying that there's there is going to be some type of resolution between you and this person everything that has been kept hidden from you in this situation is going to be revealed and if you thought that um, this situation was a done deal is a closed door spirit says access to previously closed doors so maybe at the time the situation was not meant for you but this could be coming back around differently and it may be good for you when it comes back around use your discernment listen to your intuition you guys are spiritual you guys have you know good intuition listen to your intuition um but i do see that there are doors going to be opening for a better future for you so, and Spirit was telling you to keep an open mind when this person does come back around. Because I can see that past situations can maybe be influencing you to think the worst when this person comes back around. So, I am going to extend this reading. We're going to be taking a look to see what the future looks like. Get you some advice. Or just, you know, get you some advice. Take a look to see um, 
more of what this person's intentions are channel messages see what you guys are manifesting apart from this situation etc so if you're interested in that the link will be in the description box don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you could take something from this reading um and don't forget to like and follow me on instagram and facebook if you're interested in collective readings but other than that guys um i hope you have a good rest of your week happy new year and i will see you over in the extended reading bye